friends, this video on Wave Optics Part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till Part 14 before going ahead with Part 14. So before we get into the Young's double slit experiment, let us first see what is interference. What do we mean by interference? So when we talk about interference, what, what can you guess from the term interference? Interference comes from the term interfere. What is interfere? Let us suppose if you are busy studying, one of your friends come and he says that, hey guy, please come, we'll go for cricket. So he is interfering with what you were doing, right? So that means he is a kind of disturbance for you. So that is what we know as interfere when somebody uh, stops you from whatever you were doing. So that, that is interfering. So when I talk about interference, it means that if you have two sources giving rise to waves. Now if the two sources are quite close to each other, the waves originating from both the sources will start interfering with each other. Right? This interfering in other words is also known as overlapping. In the previous slides, we talked about superposition of waves, where the waves were overlapping with each other. Now, when this overlap of waves take place, they actually start interfering with each other. Interfering in the sense, the, I mean, the maximum, I mean, the crest of one interferes with the trough of the other, the trough of one interferes with the trough of other, and this superposition gives rise to a phenomenon which is known as interference. So, there is not much difference between interference and superposition. Interference is nothing but superposition of waves which gives rise to this phenomenon when two sources are placed very close by. So, when the sources are placed very close by, the interference pattern becomes more evident. So, how do we define interference? It is the phenomenon of superposition of two waves to form a resultant wave of greater or lower amplitude, right? So, whenever the two waves will overlap constructively, it is known as constructive interference and in that case, the resultant wave will have a greater amplitude. When the two waves will overlap destructively, it is known as destructive interference and the resultant wave will have a lower amplitude. So here also you see the same thing. These are the two sources which gives rise to their wave fronts. I mean, these are the waves originated from these two sources. These are their wave fronts. That's why I told you, right, that Huygens principle is very important. See, now we don't draw waves at all. Whenever we are talking about anything related to light, we are just drawing the wave fronts. So here, since we are considering our uh, sources as point sources, therefore we have spherical wave fronts. So you can relate all these things, right? As you keep studying more and more, you can relate them when you go ahead, right? So these are your wave fronts and these wave fronts start interfering with each other. You see, at all these points, they are actually interfering with each other. Right. So, as I mentioned, there are two kinds of interference. Constructive interference, that is nothing but similar to constructive overlap. Destructive interference, same as destructive overlap. So, in constructive interference, you have a resultant wave of greater amplitude. Whereas, in destructive interference, you have a resultant wave of lower amplitude. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.